Morning. Uh, I have no idea what time of day it is when, for you watching it, but for me it's morning, so good morning. Uh, I didn't pick a topic. Uh, I got a new dress. Uh, as you can see, I uh, went down to the thrift store and uh, went and looked through their uh, uh, selection. Found some things that fit and some things that look good on me. So, pretty happy about that. Got the dishwasher going, so there's even more background noise than usual. Speaking of background noise, I ought to get the kettle going. What kind of key today? Um, so, I've been buying uh, half kilograms of tea at the shop around the corner uh, because that's, um, it's cheap. Uh, this box cost five bucks. I don't even remember if there was tax on it. Um, and they recently, or at least I noticed recently, started selling these for 10 bucks. Another half a kilogram, this time of Pearl Grey. And uh, I'm a fan. I like Earl Grey tea. So, yeah, now I get to have a choice every morning. Uh, do I want green tea or do I want Earl Grey? Um, I had a coin, I'd flip it. I'll get Earl Grey. I haven't done Earl Grey in a tea vlog. As if, I mean, the difference isn't huge, but it is technically different because, uh, oh, I already have a spoon in here. Earl Grey is a black tea, and um, you brew black tea with boiling water as opposed to uh, green tea where, I mean, obviously you can do whatever you want, but, um, uh, the distinctive flavor of green tea is uh, kind of overwhelmed by a tannin flavor if you brew it with water that's too hot or you let it steep for too long. So, I bring down the temperature of the uh, kettle with tap water when I'm making green tea. This is Earl Grey, I don't need to do that. What else is news? Um, I, uh, I've been studying German, I think I mentioned. Um, so far I've been using this, um, video game. It's not very good. And, um, it called Influent. And uh, I've been using Duolingo. I'm not going to be using Duolingo anymore. Uh, nothing wrong with the code or the pedagogical approach. But one of the optional lessons in Duolingo is, uh, is flirting. It, the, the logo for it is a ring. And it's like, if, if you want to, like meet your true love, then, uh, then, uh, these are lessons for you. And I'm an aromantic person, aero, um, uh, arrow. Uh, that's not how my emotions work, but I was like, you know what? I am, I, I have, I'm in a queer romantic uh, partnership. I, I like a lot of people and, you know, What's wrong with knowing how to say I love you? Um, well, they didn't teach me how to say I love you. They taught me, well, I got four lessons in. Lesson one was I'd like to get to know you better, which, yeah, seems entirely legit. Uh, lesson two, I'm new here, and you? Which, okay. 
bit of a cliche, but you know, it's, it's, it's an honest question. It's icebreaker. Three, coffee's on me. Okay. Um, that could be legit. That could be super manipulative, like, hey, I paid for this. And I'm not going to say anything because then you'd be able to call me out on saying anything, but I do expect something back for it. It could be creepy, but it could be legit. And sometimes you're just like, I cannot buy you coffee. Lesson four. Oh, content warning, as you may imply. Uh, skip ahead 10 seconds if you don't want to hear it. Can I? Uh, uh, no, Let's make it. Uh, apologies to all the people who are told to skip ahead 10 seconds. I'm going to just go ahead and say, skip ahead 30 seconds now. You look like my future girlfriend. My next girlfriend. I'm not going to try to talk about why that creeps me out. I don't... It's black tea. I don't need to dilute it. Uh, I don't have to, I don't have to, but also I can't, actually. It's just, this is, having seen these four sentences in this order, I felt like either Duolingo was trying to teach me how to be a pickup artist, or Duolingo was a pickup artist itself. No. I'm not okay with that. Like, are you busy tomorrow? Or are you busy tonight? Perfectly cromulent sentences. Like, uh, like, see, what I would do with that prompt, and I think they had some discretion on it, because I've heard of people complaining that my name is was only included for some language or other in the flirting lesson. I think they had some discretion. So they could have approached it as somehow you have with someone who you don't really share a language hit it off in a serious way. Like, you are interested in them, and you think they're interested in you. And one of you uh, wants to try to, you know, um, explore what that means between the two of you. May I have this dance? Are you busy tomorrow? Um... Do you want to date? There's words, sentences, concepts, which someone you don't know how to actually, someone you can't fluently communicate with and like, there are things you might want to ask anyway. Like, you're not saying hi, I'm suave, you're saying, you know what, we've been hanging out doing this for weeks, and, like, I'm getting a vibe, so, do you want to see a movie? They didn't go that angle on it. The angle they took was... A guy in a bar walks up to a woman in the bar, says a chat up line, with an aim of sleeping with her.
I'm not on board with that. I'm not comfortable around someone who feels comfortable teaching that. Teaching that as if it's something that you want to say. So, I'm probably going to look and see if I can find another language study app. Uh, someone recommended Memrise, M-E-M-R-I-S-E. So, probably going to check that out first. But yeah, um... Duolingo is really well regarded and it's a pretty good app and no, I'm not doing it. Go ahead and dump these leaves. And I think that's enough vlog for uh, I think that's enough vlog for morning. Have a good one.